Good morning, West Monroe. It's Monday, March 18th. I'm Caroline Cabin. Let's start with a moment of silence, followed by the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are our morning announcements. The George Welch Scholarship applications are due this Thursday. You can stop by Guidance or Ms. Averitt's room to pick up an application. The Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Scholarship for Black Female Seniors at Webster Monroe High School is due April 2nd, 2024. For more details and scholarship requirements, please grab a copy of the scholarship application at the Guidance Office or online at gorebs.org. Some other scholarships that are due soon. The West Monroe High School LSU Alumni Scholarship is due March 20th. And the Washita Valley Federal Credit Union Scholarship and the Norman Education Fund Scholarship are both due Friday, March 22nd. Dual enrollment applications are now available for anyone interested in taking a dual enrollment class next year. Any student planning on taking a DE course next year must complete this packet. Simply signing up on your course request form will not place you in a DE class. This application is for new students to dual enrollment and students currently enrolled. You may pick up a packet from any of the following teachers. Aswell, Ashley Walker, Gouldy, Rawls, Garvin, Eason, Etzel, Harris, and Reynolds, and Knox. As a reminder, Washita Parish School Board plans on paying for two courses per semester for seniors and one per semester for juniors. All additional three-hour courses are $300 for the 2024-2025 school year. The application deadline is no later than Wednesday, April 3rd. This includes the ULM online application. Any student who is only taking a course through Louisiana Tech will complete the paper portion only and will complete the online portion in the fall. All of this information can be found in the current dual room at Hackett. SES is a field trip this Wednesday. Board Game Club will have a meeting this Wednesday after school in the library. Are you ready for an evening of enchantment? Prom will be Saturday, April 6th. This year we're bringing back the game room with prizes like flat screen TVs, speakers, dorm fridges, and more. This is the last week to purchase tickets by GoFans. The last day is Thursday. Flyers are posted around campus with a QR code linked to our GoFans page, but you can also buy under tickets on GoRebs. See Ms. Jones in room 4208 or Ms. Nix in room 3105 for paperwork and access codes for non West Monroe High School student tickets. The West Monroe High School Junior Civitans encourage you to rock your socks with us as we recognize World Down Syndrome Day on 321-24. That's this Thursday. Wear brightly colored socks, long socks, printed socks, one sock, or even three socks. If you get a chance, stop by Ms. Beach's room that day so we can take pictures of all the awesome socks. Our window for purchasing a yearbook is about to close. Be sure to go to Balfour.com, choose West Monroe High School, and order your yearbook today. If you're an Eagle Scout, please send a picture of yourself in uniform, preferably from your pinning ceremony, to karen.wise at opsb.net. We're including a special page in the yearbook to honor those who have reached that rank. We're also looking for some pictures from volleyball, the homecoming dance, the Valentine's dance, powerlifting, interact, and golf. If you have some pictures from any of these events that you would like to share, please send them to karen.wise at opsb.net or send them to the yearbook Instagram page at WMHS Rebel Yearbook. Trial days for Raiders are this Wednesday and Thursday at 2.30 on the first floor of Edgewood, and the trial fees are due tomorrow. Trial days for Rebel Line are April 3rd and 4th at 3.30 on the first floor of Edgewood, and the trial fees must be paid by Thursday. All packets will be due on the first day of tryouts. Please see Ms. Shepard in room 4206 for Raider questions, or Ms. Tubbs in 4109 for Rebel Line questions during third lunch shift or sixth period. Powder Puff Football is back. It'll be Thursday, April 9th at 6 p.m. and at Rebel Stadium. Participant tickets will only be sold through this Wednesday, but spectator tickets will be sold from now until the night of the game. Flyers are posted around campus with a QR code linked to our GoFans page. Find a student council member, cheerleader, or raider to get the access code to purchase a ticket. Baseball took on Pineville on Friday night and won 8-4. Caleb Ramsey collected three hits and three runs scored on Friday. Isaiah Shivers batted in three runs, and Garrett Fry picked up the win, with Grayson Boyd and Trey Hawsey picking him up in relief. Baseball will be at Neville today, at home versus Bird on Wednesday, and at home versus West Washita on Thursday. Softball took home a win versus Oak Grove, 7-2. They were led offensively by Bella Costello and Aubrey Bennett, each going 2-3. for three. Bella and Kyla Stout also added two RBIs. Macy Nordstrom picked up the win and also had 12 strikeouts. Softball will be at home versus Rufferson tomorrow, at Pineville Thursday, and in the equipment tournament this weekend. Macy Nordrum will be signing to play softball at East Central Community College this Wednesday. Congrats to Macy, and we wish you the best of luck. Tennis will be at home tomorrow versus West Washita. This weekend, our Rebels and Lady Rebels powerlifting compete for the state championship in Lafayette. Wish these girls and guys good luck. In golf, a couple of our guys competed in the Bayou Rapids Invitational this weekend. Nate Paynett shot five over, and Cole Masters shot one over, placing him eighth out of 88 golfers. 
Their performance placed them eight overall as a team in the biggest tournament in the state. They'll be back in action today at Calvert Crossing for a nine-hole tournament. Track and Fuel will be at the Hoss Garrett Relays in Ruston this Thursday. That's all we have for today. Have a great day, Rebels. And remember, just five more days until spring break.